Where are they, Kent? What happened? Stanfield's car with the girl and Van Doren went over this bank. We'll get down and look them over. Watch your step now, boys. These birds are tricky. Are you all right, Gloria? Watch yourself, Stanfield. You're covered. Oh, Stanley. Say, Dorgan, Van Dorn isn't here. What? He must have gone away. Well, let him go. We got these two. They're the ones we want. Get him into the car. All right, up oh. the bank. Oh. Stand where you are, every one of you. Drop your gun. Stanfield, get my destroying ray from him. Yeah? Well, try and get it. Get Stanfield and the girl into the car. I'm gonna give this electrical wizard a taste of his own medicine. Drop that gun. Drop it, I say. Sandfield, collect their guns, take their car, and get Gloria away from here. Get that one, Gloria. I'll take care of these fellows. Crooks leave. Then we can return and get Professor Van Dorn. Yes, we certainly can't leave him to their mercy. We owe our escape to him. To the Vanishing Ray, you mean? The Vanishing Ray is a truly marvelous invention, but I dread to think what would happen if my father's men had gotten in possession of it. I was thinking of that. This experience has taught me a lesson. I'm going to put an end to this Tribune fight once and for all. How? By having a showdown with your father right now. Get in, Professor. Van Dorn's tricked us. He's gone. Kent, snap into it. You and Stroud report to Burnett at his office. And what are you going to do, Dorgan? You're going to drop me in Badger at Van Dorn's place. We're going to give that bird a lesson he won't forget in a hurry. Come on, Badger. There's something funny about Van Dorn, and I don't... There's nothing funny about it. He's an electrical wizard, that's all, and... I got it. Got what? When we get to Van Dorn's place, we'll keep undercover and find out how he does this disappearing trick. Come on. I'll leave you now, Gloria. Van Dorn will see you home. I want to get to your father's office before Dorgan and his men have time to get here. Stanley, please be careful. Now, don't you worry. I'll see you later at the Tribune and tell you what happened. Well, thank you for the torch, Professor. I won't need it this trip. Barnett. You can't go in there unannounced. Mr. Barnett is busy. Well, I'm busy, too. I'll announce myself. Oh, no, you won't. Oh, Stanfield, this is an unexpected pleasure. 
come to have a definite understanding with you, Barnett. Oh, that's fine, Stanfield. You've come to accept my proposition and sell me your Tribune stock? No. You know my stock's not for sale? No. Listen, Stanfield. I'm determined to get control of the Tribune. If you continue to oppose me, I'll crush you. That sounds just like you. I haven't forgotten that it was your attempts to crush my father that caused his death. You want control of the Tribune because it has the power to expose you for the crook you are. Well, you'll never get it. No? Talk as chief, Stanfield. You don't control the Tribune. And it's an open fight. But I will control it after the election. And that's what I'm here for now, to demand that you as secretary call a stockholders' meeting for that purpose immediately. And this time it'll be held in the offices of the Tribune where it should be legally held. Yeah? Now let me tell you something. I know that McDonald intends to pool his stock with yours. And if it comes to a vote between you, you can beat me. But there won't be any vote from you. For when that meeting is held, neither you nor any stock carrying your name will be represented. You can't stop me, Barnett, and you know it. I've got you stopped right now. See, I always win. It used to be like that, but times have changed. What do you mean? Just this. We're in luck. Van Dorn hasn't arrived yet, and I found a way to get into the office. Come on. looking in it. Donald, I'm worried. Mr. Stanfield should have been here by now. Well, your father would hardly do Stanfield bodily injury in his own office. 
Oh, McDonald, well, Gloria, I didn't expect to see you here so soon. Professor Van Dorn brought me directly here. But what happened? You're all... Well, you see, I met your father, and then I was mussed up a bit. What happened, Stanfield? Well, we... got to be mighty careful from now on. Barnett knows he's licked if it goes to a vote, and he'll stop at nothing. Well, don't worry. I'm not going to take any more chances. The first thing I'm going to do is get my Tribune shares out of Van Dorn's safe and put them in the bank with yours. Wait a minute. You'd better phone Professor Van Dorn to bring those here. It's too risky going yourself. That's a good idea. I never thought of that. See, what's his number? Don speaking. Hello, Professor. This is Stanfield. Oh, yes, Stan. How did you make out? Oh. I was afraid Barnett would try something like that if he went to his office. See, I wonder if you'd mind bringing my Tribune shares over to McDonald's office. Well, that's a needless risk, Stan. Your shares are perfectly safe here in my vault, and McDonald won't need them. He's got your proxy to vote your stock. It's very important. All right. I'll bring them right over. Well, don't worry about me. I'll wear the vanishing ray and be in McDonald's office without anyone knowing it. I'll test it out again right now. You better make out another proxy for me. I destroyed the one you gave me when I was captured by Barnett's men. And you'd better make out one for me. Then, if anything happens to either of us, the other has the power to act. That's a good idea. You got it? Go ahead. Be careful of him. Don't give him a chance to use that disappearing gag of his or we can't handle him. 
Well, that settles Stanfield's Tribune stock. Now to the Tribune office to get Stanfield the proxies that he gave McDonald. I don't understand these proxies. What good are they? I don't either. All I know is that we're to get them. That's not going to be easy. You can't get in McDonald's office without being stopped. I won't be stopped. Not when I have on the professor's vanishing ray. Help me get the harness off of him. You wait here and keep your eyes open. Now here's a proxy to vote my Tribune chair at Stanfield. And there's mine to you. Now, if anything happens to either of us, the other will be able to act. I wish Professor Van Dorn would hurry with your stock certificates. Oh, well, he'll be here any minute, Gloria. He said he'd wear the vanishing ray, so we know nothing can happen to him. Oh, here he is now. Nice work, Professor. Now show yourself and let's have it. It's a great idea. Let's have him. Dorgan, hand over those proxies. 